So I'm pitching to Brandon. I'm like, this is gonna be a case unboxing. It's gonna be like exciting. You're gonna be excited. Look at this. It's one case, but it comes in two gigantic, not to mention very heavy boxes. And he's like, now I've seen that before with the HAF stacker. It was terrible. Yeah, that was terrible. But, but, but no, this time it's going to be different. This is the Case Labs THW10, a massive chassis for a project. I'll get to that later. For a project that I've had on the go for several months now, an attempt to take seven gamers, one CPU, and make it productive. Six 8K video editing stations running off of a single motherboard. And for that, I needed a case that was pretty unique. So let's open it up and make sure that everything fits. Damn it. Oh, I bent my key. I need a knife. So step number one here is figuring out how the devil to open this thing. Well, that explains why it didn't come off. This is like, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an odd sized case. So this is actually two case boxes, one put down on top of the other and they don't fit all the way. I can do this. I'm a professional unboxer, Brandon. Second person, my ass. Wow. This thing is really big. I guess while I open it up, I should explain. So once it's finished, this system is gonna have two 28 core CPUs, which is why it needs such a large motherboard tray. So we're gonna be using a, uh, an SSI EEB sized motherboard. So that doesn't fit in just your standard ATX case. Then much of the rest of the case is gonna be taken up by radiators because the finished system is actually going to have six high-end graphics cards. If I can get my way, they're gonna be quadros, which would put this system somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 to $100,000. But when you consider how much a you know, professional workstation with a Xeon CPU and a Quadro graphics card costs in the first place, 64 gigs of RAM and all that good stuff, for six of them in one tower? I don't know, it's not that far off, is it? Oh, come on! It's like giving birth! Oh, oh, oh. Wow! From just looking at the one side panel, you clearly did not get a sense of the full scope of this monster. Oh, I thought I scratched it. I'm a professional unboxer, Brandon. So back to why we need all that space. So we got this giant motherboard. We got all these graphics cards. We need cooling. So there's gonna be, I don't remember how many, but it's somewhere in the neighborhood of like eight radiators to make sure that our dual CPUs and six graphics cards will all be adequately cooled. Then things get really interesting because you can see back here, we've got almost as much space for hardware behind the motherboard tray. So there's not gonna be really any graphics cards here or anything as we do on the other side. And I have big plans for this. So, I've been doing some experimenting with a really unorthodox storage solution. So have a look at these. These are U.2 to PCI Express times four slot adapters. So I was concerned that because I was going to be filling up all of my PCI Express slots with graphics cards that I was going to have to get down to single slot somehow, 
I wasn't gonna have any way to put sufficiently high speed storage in the machine because these are professional workstations. I want every boot drive to be super fast. So what I wanted to do was take the four U.2 slots here, that's a really unique feature of this board, and connect them to Optane memory drives. However, the standard two and a half inch U.2 form factor at the time I was planning the project anyway, didn't have capacities that were high enough for me to have enough space for six VMs to have a, a decent sized boot drive. So I figured, okay, here's a solution. We adapt them to PCI Express slots. So my intention is actually to use a bunch of the space back here to mount these adapters from micro SATA cables in somehow or other, like, oh, like that or something, I don't know, so that I can have full-size PCI Express Optane drives. Uh, these 750 series are just here for testing purposes. Then it gets even more interesting. I haven't actually even done a test fit for this yet, but there's a company that makes a PCI Express 16X, like it just plugs into a slot to eight times slot adapter using a bunch of PLX chips. So what I was kind of hoping when I saw that is that I could put all of those over here somehow, somewhere, and then every VM could have its own USB card dedicated to it so that it could have full plug and play. Now that we've got the skeleton open, we can go ahead and peek behind door number two. So Case Labs' cases are like quite modular. So you get all these like pieces and you kind of screw them together yourself. That also allows them to have a lot of different options. So if you were the kind of person who isn't living in 2018 and wants, you know, a lot of five and a quarter inch bays in the front or whatever, then you wouldn't go for these like full sized or nearly full size. We've got one five and a quarter inch bay up there on each side, uh, like grill fronts. This is all just mounting hardware and case accessories. Holy crap. Okay, feet are on. So let's start popping some panels on this thing. We've got the dual ventilated top panel. So all the side panels, which are tempered glass, by the way, I have now checked. I actually don't know what I'm more excited for at this point. Doing the finished build or just getting my stuff off of this horrible test bench for the rest of my testing. You know, maybe you guys can let me know, for a build like this, do you prefer, you know, legit workstation hardware to, to look legit in workstation? Or do you look at an expensive machine that, I mean, let's face it, we are gonna game on it, and see those bare green RAM PCBs and go, ugh, like should we put heat spreaders over those? Just get some aftermarket ones? I wanna know. So even though this motherboard dwarfs a normal board, it still looks tiny in here. I don't think this system is gonna be movable by a single person when we're done here. <laughs> it looks so lonely. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, take it upstairs. Oh, okay. Ah. We'll be fine. Okay, not too bad. Door opening plan. Here we go. Ah, no. Okay. Okay. Ah, make me move. <laughs> Sorry, not meaning to be rude, but just. Oh, okay. What have I unleashed? <laughs> All right, do you wanna grab an end? I don't feel like doing this on my own anymore. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, hop! Oh, there we go. Hopefully this thing still works after being transplanted. It's always a concern. Wait, what? Where are all my drives? Wait, no, I didn't plug in the uh, SATA cable that is going to power all the drives. So uh, 
We're gonna shut this down, but that's okay. That's the end of the unboxing of the THW10. Hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned because there are going to be more updates on this project for sure. There's gonna be some crazy hardware that we are using in it. Thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to get your very own THW10 or maybe one of their more reasonably sized options over on Case Labs' website. Also in the video description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.